our heart tirelessly works for us throughout our lifetime, always at our service. It is a continuously working pump which generates pressure to push and distribute blood to all the tissues of the body through blood vessels. It receives deoxygenated blood for purification from the veins and pumps out oxygenated blood for tissue metabolism through the arteries. Thus, both arteries and veins play an important role in the flow of blood. The pumping action of the heart creates a definite pressure on the cardiac muscles, forming the heart wall, which causes the blood to flow through the arteries. This is called as blood pressure, popularly known as BP. Cardiac muscles forming the heart wall contract to push out the blood from its chamber to a great artery called aorta. While cardiac muscles relax to receive the blood from great veins called inferior and superior vena cava. This contraction and relaxation of heart chambers respectively gives rise to systolic and diastolic pressure within the wall. Systolic pressure indicates the pressure that the heart generates to pump blood to the rest of the body. Whereas diastolic pressure refers to the pressure in the blood vessels between heartbeats. Blood pressure is expressed in two separate figures. The first indicates systolic pressure and the second diastolic. It is known that systolic pressure increases as we grow old, while diastolic pressure begins to decline after 60 years. However, the force with which the heart pumps increases when there is an increased demand of blood supply to various tissues, like in the case of exercise, or when normal blood flow has to occur through narrowed vessels, as in the case of atherosclerosis. This gives rise to increased blood pressure or hypertension. Hyper means excess or over the normal limits. Hypertension can be temporary only to meet a required demand, as in the case of exercise. It is a sign that the heart and arteries have to overwork. Significantly, it is persistent hypertension that leads to various health problems. Hypertension is one of the leading killer diseases in the world today. Hey, there is no reason to get alarmed. Much depends on us and on our positive initiatives. Our present discussion is about hypertension, its causes, signs, symptoms, complications and modes of management. First things first, let us know the criteria to term our blood pressure as hypertension. For an individual, Systolic blood pressure measuring 140 millimeters of mercury or greater and diastolic blood pressure measuring 90 millimeters of mercury or greater can be referred to as hypertension. Higher level than this is alarming and should be paid immediate attention. Ignoring it increases the risk of various health complications. Blood pressure is measured with sigmoid manometer. Pressure cuff is applied to the arm and the cuff pressure just above where the arterial pulsation at wrist disappears is slowly increased. This marks the time when artery is made to collapse temporarily by manual pressure. Then pressure is slowly released to listen to the typical sound produced with the help of a stethoscope. Appearance and disappearance of this sound helps to assess systolic and diastolic pressure. 
So we come to the next question. When and how do we test ourselves? Ideally, blood pressure readings should be taken at rest without having any stimulant like coffee or tea or smoking. A minimum of two readings should be recorded and averaged at two different occasions. If these readings are above specified value, then it is indicative of hypertension. You can be self-reliant and learn to take these readings at home, so that occasions of sudden increase in blood pressure can be timely recognized and immediate remedial actions taken.